Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a guy who just keeps uh, piling it deeper and deeper, Gary Butterfield. I am digging myself in a lot of holes this week. <laughs> yeah, no, Gary, good theming. You know? Yeah, it's good, super good theming for being shovel week. Uh, yeah, um, uh, we're talking about Mom's Shovel. Yeah, uh, the duplicate item that's slightly better that you get for going through the ordeal. Yeah, uh, so Mom Shovel, the prime, the way you get this is you get both shovel pieces. See, previous episode, Smile and mm-hmm. Stan. Yep. Asterisk Grimace. <laughs> As- uh, asterisk Grimace. <laughs> that's my favorite, uh, that's my favorite Bravely like Default class. killer character. Um, yeah. Epoch Ultimate and Asterisk Grimace. Gary, I made a good Bravely Default joke because the asterisks are the, the job class change items in Bravely Default. They're called asterisks? Yeah, like stars. That's not a bullshit. Why? Because they're like stars. That's a punctuation piece, though. Why is it just called like a piece of punctuation? Because the guy who like made him was like a, was an astrologer and he was really into stars. Why does he call him a star? Because I think that would be like a little, it didn't sound cool enough. Asterisk doesn't sound cool. Sounds pretty cool, I think. <laughs> Which, what's wrong with you? What if you want to note down that someone did steroids but still hit a lot of homers? I <laughs> pop, pop some zingers. I understand that it's useful as a punctuation piece. I just don't think it sounds badass in like a cool video game power-up way. Gary, I'm glad that we both have in our head uh, that moment from the end of the not very good Simpsons episode where Bart goes on Ritalin. Yeah, where you pop some dingers. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a good part of that bad episode. Yeah. <laughs> Focus in. Um, so you get this, uh, as we mentioned, you get that second part, see previous grimace and it then functions as we need to go deeper, but on AKA a full room charge, the, the shovel. Yeah. Uh, which is not a very good item. You can go back like seven years or whatever. When we covered that item to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, it's bad because it, uh, you don't want to skip floors cause you want the rewards from floors. Well, once you hit the womb, you kind of want to skip a floor. I will sometimes skip like womb one. Yeah. But I still want that boss item, and I want that chance to deal with the devil. Like, I don't really want to skip a chance at the deal with the devil. If you're run you know? set, though. Yeah. If you're run set, you maybe want to go into fast forward. It's rare, though, and it's not worth holding on to an active item mm-hmm. that late in the game. Like, you, you get this, you know, when ordinarily when you get the non-mom version of this, you get it during the first part of the game, and then you just have to hold on to it on the off chance you might want it later. Yeah. Uh, here, you at least get it late, but it's a bummer because it's like a, um active item tax kind of thing you know like oh you have to get you're gonna finish this forgotten thing but you still can't have an active item yep gotta have this one so uh the the main gameplay function of this is to take it down to uh the dark room find the patch of uh dug up dirt and dig up the forgotten and then you have the forgotten Mm -hmm. yeah uh that's all fine it's all also an appealing shade of purple gary it is a really nice looking shovel it's it's, a purple shovel i don't think in real life yeah. I mean, be the change, fucker. Yeah, I guess they, they probably do for, like, sandcastle shovels. That's a good point. Gary, have, were you a sandcastle kid? I could never get anything out of it. Yeah, no, I loved it. Really? I sandcastles. Yeah, because I, I had the bucket with the crenellations. Sure, you know? yeah. And I would make huge, like, sandcastle fortresses. Doesn't the sand just fall apart? Mm, you get a little water in there. Oh, no one told me about the fucking water, man. Yeah. It's where, like are you, snow. where are you getting water at? Uh, mostly the ocean. Fuck, I forgot you grew up near the ocean. <laughs> yep, the great great ocean, Michigan. Yeah. Uh, no, when I've gone to like a beach. I guess I also get sand from or water from Lake Michigan when I've done that. Gary, when are we going to go take our beach trip and make sandcastles? That'd be really fun. Or you like, could come I, hang out on my Minecraft server. <laughs> that's true. You can make right, real castles. Real castles. I, I think that now that I've been uh, I've been to the beach recently, I think I would not enjoy making sandcastles because I'm too scared of dead jellyfish. They are scary, and there's a lot of them. And they're everywhere, and yeah. they're invisible. And they want to <laughs> like they, predator vision. They want to poison you. They they do. They can't help it. I I went down. I talked about this on an abject suffering, so I don't repeat it too much. But since I turned 41, I decided to face some fears. Yeah. You know. Uh, and I went and I did like a jellyfish experience where I went back and touched jellyfish and learned about them. Like I pet a jellyfish a bunch. For my birthday. To face that fear. 
Gary, because we've had some recording worries this uh, episode, I want to be very clear that I am on the call. I am okay. active on the call. I am just <laughs> processing. It. I am just processing. Yeah. It feels like petting a wet car. It's a, but yeah, I went, I went back and did it because I was like, I'm scared of jellyfish. I think these things are scary, but they can't hurt me uh, if I know about them. Let's spring for this like fun little experience where I get to go backstage at an aquarium, learn about jellyfish and hang out with them and touch them. And I did. So it's pretty cool. One second, please. Mm -hmm. Still in your process. I'm trying to think if there's any anything else I should tell you now to save us time. No, it's okay. At all at once. It's okay. I'm just I'm sending you a picture. Oh, let me go ahead and just uh, click. No, 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 no. Sending sending you a picture. Really sending you a picture. No, I, I, uh, I know it's yeah, real. Okay, I'm just yeah. trying to find the. Uh... I sent it to you in Google Chat or G Meets or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. That's my Gary. Have you found the picture? Oh. <laughs> That's my face <laughs> trying to process what the fuck you're telling me. <laughs> That was the genuine facial expression of me trying to process you telling me that you, as a 41-year-old fucking big boy, decided to go backstage at the aquarium so he could poke a weird fish you were scared of. What the fuck is wrong with you? Can you make that picture of the episode art? <laughs> yes, for, I will absolutely do that. Yes. I'm definitely going to make that my contact art for you. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're you come up like oh will's texting me oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. no no i i, I decided as a 41 year old big boy <laughs> to get over my fear of a certain evil bag okay, okay. i mean I, I intellectually i admire it emotionally it's much more complicated <laughs> Cole thought it was cool. Yeah, of course he fucking did. <laughs> Cole's a good, positive person. <laughs> Cole just listened with rapt attention as I taught him about jellyfish. Yeah. It didn't even occur to him to laugh at me about it. <laughs> and that's why you need us both in your life. I know. It, it, is, uh, it is the combination of flavors that I so crave. Gary, uh, oh. boy. Uh, mm -hmm. if people... Any questions about jellyfish? I know uh, more than I did before. Okay. Um, no, I don't because I took like a basic biology class. I know the number of like the sufficient number of things about jellyfish. They don't really have. See, brains. I did, I I uh, dropped out of out of biology in high school and never took any more. Yeah. So I don't care for biology. I don't like to know about that stuff. Yeah, they're very pretty. They don't really have brains. Yeah, they uh, they are classified as an animal because they do react to stimulus. Yeah, but they're also classified as a plankton mm -hmm. because they can't swim against currents. Is that really, is that, that's that, Gary? Okay, I did just learn something. I didn't yeah, know that that was the dividing line on plankton. Yeah, they're too weak. They they cannot locomote uh, sufficiently. So they're considered part of the plankton group. Oh, gee, bad news today, guys. I got <laughs> classified as plankton. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, to be clear, this is not me playing a jellyfish. This is me playing William Hughes. Because <laughs> Gary, I think I might be plankton. That started as a bit, but I think I might be plankton. Yeah, I'm trying to think of you exercising against the current. We're, you know, uh, I think if you next put episode, me we're going to have you do jumping jacks against the current of air. Yeah. And it's going to be a struggle. So I think that plank, like water being much thicker, I think you, you've earned your plankton wings. I think I, this started as a bit and ooh, now I genuinely ooh, think Will. I might be plankton. Will, plankton wings? Like plane the wings? The TV show? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, I don't I don't know that that necessarily deserved the hey will treatment. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, you're just describing a particularly funny episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. Like a really good Pixar movie. <laughs> yeah. Like Plankton Wings. Uh man. Gary, if people enjoy this show, what should they do? Go to your local aquarium. Yeah, uh, give it, it some money. It's been a hard year. <laughs> Full of learning experiences. It's it's so it's been such a rough year for the aquarium industry that they're letting <laughs> high rollers come in and touch the jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. Gary, how much let me fuck them. How many human dollars did you pay for this experience? 15. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I, I'm not going to give you any shit for that. That's a good price for a jellyfish well, poke. And it was like the whole experience 45 minutes long. 
Like, I was expecting it to be like, get okay, in touch now with I'm it. mad at the aquarium. <laughs> for undervaluing the jellyfish experience. Well, for undervalu, I assume you had an aquarium person there with you telling you oh, these yeah. things, right? Were you alone? Was this a one on one? No, it was a six on one. There were six people Gary, in the jellyfish zone Gary, with one how, aquarium person. How many of the people in your six were children? Half. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was one mom. Yeah. Two kids. Uh, and then a, a, another kid, like a teen. Yeah. Loose or no, teen. a mom and a kid, two teens, me and my girlfriend. Okay. Oh, thank Gary. I didn't. That's so much better that your girlfriend. You think I went was by there. myself? Yes, I did. Yeah. That's what I was picturing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I don't mean to take away that face for that smile from you. No, it's yeah. good. No, it's still really. Sorry, the, it's the no, no, no. It's still very. The face is still intact. I assure you. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank God. I care if um, uh, people enjoy the show. What should they do? We should go to your local aquarium where you can learn a lot of cool things about jellyfish. Yeah, uh, Gary, sorry, it, I forgot I did ask the question before. <laughs> in addition, you can go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and give me some jellyfish money. Yeah, pay for Gary to uh, touch more wet Learn things. Learn about all kinds of animals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the late life education of Gary Butterfield. As yeah, I didn't take biology, so I'm doing Network. it through my Don't patrons. know much biology. <laughs> Very scared of the jellyfish. <laughs> um, uh, you can also leave us a rating review. Tried to teach myself Portuguese because (laughs) of a web cartoon. I make the best decisions. I'm smart. (laughs) And it's about time you deal with it. I'm good at my life. Uh, You can also leave us a rating review. Uh, Yeah, like this one left on uh, Apple Podcasts by Mm -hmm. the Max 8991 Titled, Yes. I've put about five hours into the actual game. In dozens, or hundreds, of hours into microdosing the love story of Will and Gary. When will they kiss? Four stars. And that was a five-star review. Thank you. I Gary, Thank I don't you. think it's going to happen between us. You don't think so? I it If it was going to, it would have, right? The the will there, the won't they? I don't know. It could be a real slow burn. Like, June and Pam didn't kiss until season four. Gary, we're into, like, season 20 of our relationship at this point, it feels yeah. like. I know. That's true. <laughs> um, well, you know, you never know. You never know. That's a good point, Gary. There could be a lot of apocalypses between now and our deaths. Well, we also do a lot of uh, dumb shit for charity. Like, <laughs> what is the amount of money somebody would be like, all right, guys, I will give this much money to a duck stream if you guys kiss. $200. $200? Yeah. Okay. For charity? Yeah. Somebody's going to do it now because that's a low price. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, I, that's my price. Gary, you have oh. – you. Gary, oh. here's the thing about sex work. You get to set the price. <laughs> you know, the Gary of this week doesn't really think so. <laughs> the Gary of this week is a little bit more problematic than that. Yeah. Uh, anywho, end podcast. <laughs> Gary, I'm worried this, this jellyfish somehow poisoned your brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and podcast. And podcast. Uh, ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Th- four. Three. <laughs> Two. One. That wasn't on purpose or anything. I know. I know. <laughs> it but... just spaced out. It's yeah. like, <laughs> Shit, what's next? What? what's next? What's next? What's next? What number are we on? Should I go up? Okay. <laughs> Should I go up? All right. <clears throat>